let's do this. Hi everybody, how are you guys doing? Um, I can't believe I still feel camera shy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. So what's up guys? Um, so today let me set my camera real quick. I think I think this is good. Is this slanted? I don't think so. I just want to make sure I'm in frame. I'm sitting on my couch. Today is just going to be a really impromptu video. Well, I said yesterday on my Instagram that I was going to make this video because yesterday, oh my God, I was just feeling so overwhelmed. Let me get comfortable. And um, I said I was going to make a video of the experiences or, or my personal experiences as a 30 plus single lady living in Nigeria. Um, very interesting topic very controversial topic I know people have their different ways or different opinions and different um, ways that they are living and we have so many things to say about 30 plus women blah 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 and um, yeah so I just wanted to share my own experience um, so far I'm gonna be doing like pros and cons um, but eventually there might be really no pros and cons because it's your life and people can do and feel however they want to feel but for me i'll be sharing my pros and cons so i just put down some few points um on my phone and i'm going to be talking through them while i do my makeup so i'm not doing anything too fussy i'm just um, working with the print of my top i've had this top for a while i think it's really pretty and cute and um i'm using Honestly, I just grabbed these two palettes because they looked like they would look close to my top. So I might be using them or I might just grab something else. I don't know. I really don't know what I want to do, but let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get into the video. So in the two years that I have been in my 30s, I must say that um, I'm having the time of my life. Honestly, um, I'm having the time of my life. I moved out on my own when i was 30 um that was my 30th birthday present to myself i said you know what it's either you buy something really huge for yourself maybe like a new car or something or you decide that you want to live on your own and for me that made more sense because i used to live very far off from where i am currently and um it wasn't really easy commuting to work every day and it made more sense at the time so i decided to do that and um yeah i'm still making mistakes and it's just it just feels nicer like being in my 30s there's just this beauty about it i'm embracing i've embraced that age even though some people might say i don't look my age which is fine like i accept that it's fine but i mean yeah there's still mistakes to make along the way you don't get it immediately you turn 30 but you just have a better understanding of who you are and right now i'm in that place so here goes like let me start with the pros like the pros of being a single lady in nigeria this is personally for me some people might think what the hell are the pros but these are my pros um living alone things don't quickly finish in your house honestly it's only you you know what you want to eat you know how much you budgeted for groceries paying for your lights paying for buying fuel for your gin everything so your gas like now the gas that I've been using since like last year, you guys don't laugh at me, please. I cook. But the gas that I've, I've been using since like last year, October, it hasn't finished. It hasn't run out because it's just me. I can cook when I want. I don't have to like, I don't boil water with like my gas and all that. It's just me. If there's no light, I go to bed. My groceries, I know what I want to eat. I don't eat that much anyway so i just buy what i need i buy my water you know just simple things i can budget what i want to spend my money on and i don't go overboard as opposed to living with like two three four people who are eating and all that so yeah the next thing is um you really begin to enjoy your own company everybody has something that makes them tick and makes them like happy it could be music it could be watching movies it could be watching things just or like or a hobby that you just really enjoy doing alone and in your quiet time and that hobby is something that you can harness when you're on your own so 
like living alone also helps to aid that because you're just on your own you're exploring yourself um not that way <laughs> but like you're just getting to become one with yourself and you realize that you might end up liking yourself more like now being alone i find out that i really like myself because i'm really fun like i'm really fun. i know how to make myself happy when i'm sad i know what to eat what to watch where to go what to look at online like it's that simple you can self heal if you're upset about something or if you've had a bad day you know how to recharge you know how to just make yourself happy and living alone does that so yeah um life in my 30s i think moving and living alone was one of the best decisions that i could have made i wouldn't trade it for anything yeah and um yeah basically i just really enjoy my own company now not saying that i wouldn't like to be partnered up soon but for now i'm just enjoying every day as it comes and i'm not complaining so the next thing i know um living as a single lady 30 plus lady in nigeria especially if you live alone is you have the freedom to come and go as you like honestly you can wake up by hell i don't know maybe um or get up at 10 o'clock and say you know what i want to go hang out with my friends and you can get up and go it doesn't mean you're a bad person or it doesn't mean you're wayward or anything because i know most people will say mm, most single girls they like to live alone so that they can be free and do what they want but it's the essence of being 30 plus and single not to have fun and be yourself like why would i be acting like i don't want to have fun or i don't want to like do things that are that i want to do if i want to go out at 12 midnight to go clubbing with my friends i should be able to do that like nobody can stop me and say eh, if you were in your father's house or if you were you in your parents you wouldn't be able to do that who says who says i wouldn't be who says i wouldn't be able to do that as well i'm sure there are people who still party and go out a lot it doesn't have to be going out at night anyway you can afford you can decide to go for weddings you can decide to take a trip you can decide to be if you're a lady who likes to brunch or lunch you can decide to say oh i want to go out with my friends you can just and your parents won't question you because they want you to be outside anyway like go out have fun meet people hell you might meet your potential spouse when you go out you're not going to meet the person in the house so go out that you have more freedom nobody is telling you oh you have to come back by seven o'clock or eight o'clock i know some households that still happens but it's an anomaly it's not really a norm especially in 2022 now nobody is going to be padlocking you caging you not saying you shouldn't be responsible there's a lot of insecurity in the country now and um, you have to think about your movement and you have to move wisely you don't want to be caught up in an unfortunate circumstance on the road because you're always out and um, you go to places that are very volatile you want to be careful but yeah you have that freedom you can do what you want you can oh i think this is getting dim okay you can do what you want you can decide this is what i want to do with my life you can decide to have two jobs if you want you can decide to buy what you want like there's just this freedom that comes with being 30 plus and responsible nobody like obviously it's important to have people that can check you when you're going astray but you have to use your upper like you can't be doing silly things but it just feels good and i like the way it feels funny enough as much as i claim that i might want to go out of stuff i really don't go anywhere i'm at home i stay home most times but i know that if i needed to get up and go anywhere i can do it and just knowing that i can do it feels good doesn't mean i'm going to doesn't mean i'm going to be out all day every day going from one place to the other and stuff but knowing that i can do it feels good and yeah so those are one of the pros for me of being 30 plus and i'm going to talk about this one and um a pro this one is not anything physical this one is mental at this stage in your life i want to believe that you've dealt with and you're tired of cycles that bring you no joy and just like hurt you and expend you and do nothing for you so this one for me is once i hit in fact before i even hit 30 like when i was in my 28 29 ish my tolerance for rubbish just dissipated it just i was done like 
my tolerance level is low i don't have the energy for draining relationships draining situationships anything that involves the opposite sex friendships like if you're bringing the bs gotta go like at this point i can't imagine sitting down and crying over a guy i just can't i can't do it i can't do it settling in relationships is harder i can't do it no sorry next caller i can't do it um when i was in my 20s i used to give people the benefit of the doubt because i felt like everyone was like me everyone had the same heart that i had and um yeah it might just be oops it might just be a mistake and um, the person really didn't mean it but as i grew older i realized that people really do the things that they do to you and they mean it because they feel like you're really not deserving everyone does not have the same heart that you have everyone doesn't and i learned the hard way a few times uh, because i felt ah, this is probably just one bad situation um the person is probably a good person but we're just not right for each other but when it keeps happening and you realize why am i attracting this funny kind of people you just have to pause and see is it them or is it you because people are only going to work with the energy that you give them and if you give them the energy that you're cool with bullshit and you're cool with like the bare minimum that's what they're going to that's what you're going to get over and over and over again so at that point you just need to stop and say am i giving this person the impression that they can mess with me like this because most likely you are i mean some people are foolish even when you like tell them i'm not going to put up with this they will still try you but then you also have to self-reflect and say um this might be me and i might just be accepting something that i think is not right for me and i need to do something about it so my self-tolerance is low if you're someone who likes to ghost if you're someone who likes to play mind games avoid me because um you might be a player but i'm the coach so yeah <laughs> I think I've, I've, um, I've done this thing over and over again to see that um, it's just not worth it putting yourself in that kind of situation again. And anyone, I know there's still people in their 30s still going through this, but if you are, I think it's high time you call yourself to, or to order and tell yourself, I deserve better than this and don't put up with any bullshit. So yeah, for me, it's one of the things that I like about being in my 30s that mental clarity for what i want physically in relationships my finances for my future for my marriage relationships i know what it is that i want and if i'm not getting it i can't participate i can't participate anymore just let me be on my own and let me enjoy my own company till i find the right person so i'm going to move on to some cons of being a 30 plus lady in Nigeria so one of the things I would say is in this age group you lose a lot of friends along the way friends that you grew up with friends that you met in secondary school friends that you met in university I mean you don't plan these things nobody plans these things friends you've been working with for like a decade or more but then things just happen and then you realize that you probably don't have you probably don't have anything in common anymore or one person just starts to drift away from the other person or somebody relocates life happens or somebody gets married and they decide um they don't want to keep in touch with you who is still their single friend these things happen we know we know these things it's not new i'm sure um We've heard these stories or we've had experiences about a friend who probably got married and um, decided uh, i want to have a new set of friends who are all married and i don't feel like i want to continue this friendship or things like jealousy envy spite backbiting comes in the mix of your friendship and it really affects the quality of your friendship and if you're like me who doesn't have time for drama you'll be like you know what i need to let this go I need to let this go which, and it's absolutely fine it's fine um everyone can come along with you on this new journey on this the journey of life 
so it's okay to let old friendships remain what they were have the memories of them and the relationship the good times the trips the clubbing the partying the camaraderie the support but if it's no more paying one or both parties it's okay to let it go it's fine it's fine nobody will die also there's the aspect of making new friends which is really hard if you're a super friendly person like me it may not be hard but then you get to meet a whole lot of people from different age range i have friends who are in their 40s i have friends who are like 23 24 and like i know how to vibe with them it's cool we can talk about anything but then you also have to check the quality of those friendships like are they my friends are they pals are they acquaintances are they my sisters i have friends who are like sisters to me my sisters know them like you got me i got you we're always there for each other stuff like that but yeah you wonder i lost friends i'm trying to make new friends but what is the quality of the friendship if I'm having a breakdown, if I'm feeling sad, can I call this person and can I rant to them? Like, will they understand? You also want to make sure that you have friends like that. And being in your 30s because you probably just don't have the energy to expend on <laughs> on some certain kind of things. You just be like, you know what, I beg. Let me just let it be. I really like this person, but I don't see how we can be most people already have cliques anyway like if you're in your 30s you probably belong to a clique that you met in uni or you guys have been childhood friends and having someone new come into the group might make other people uncomfortable which is fine it's normal you feel like this person wants to steal your friend and all that but life happens just try and make as many new friends as possible truth is there are people like me out there who feel like making friends making new friends is a hard thing as well but I mean let's just pray like we find each other let good people find good people and yeah the rest is history so as much as it's hard to make new friends i'm really open to it as long as you don't call me stress because if you call me stress you gotta go yeah so the next con for me is the bills baby <laughs> the bills can you pay my bills but this time can you pay your own bills because hmm the way things are skyrocketing in Nigeria, especially when you have to pay all the bills alone, is mad. I don't need to talk too much. Okay, so let's run down a month in my life, a month of things that I need. So one, I need to pay for my NEPA bill. I need to buy groceries. Um, you have say you live in a house that is like a semi-serviced apartment or fully serviced you have to pay for security dues loma all that stuff then you need to buy foil in your car you need to put foil in your gen if you're not living in a serviced apartment if you um if you aren't if you yeah correct if you're not living in a serviced apartment if you are in a serviced apartment you have to give them money for diesel we know how much diesel is now then you have to spend money on grooming if you're like me i like to get my nails done i like to get a manicure and pedicure every month it's it's just has to be done because my hands have to look good i have to also get my hair done um if i'm not like now i'm in braids these aren't cheap braids are no more cheap we now know braids that we used to run that time more for like 15k braids are not cheap anymore then if you have friends like me who like to go out you end up going for lunch or dinner or something spending money just spending much out here spending money spending money like it's part of like living nice and having a good life but then nothing is cheap anymore so it's just uh, at this rate hmm, someone will go and find old bando because it's not fun anymore but you just have to be grateful for the fact that yes you can even pay your bills because a lot of people can't it's not easy anyway a lot of people can't pay their bills and then um if you have family that depends on you on your income as well you realize that you're sending money to one auntie here or one uncle here or if you have younger siblings that you're taking care of or your family it's a lot luckily for me i'm the last child so um i don't really have to like take care of anyone except maybe just 
anyone that I feel like giving money to after paying tight, of course. But I have two older siblings and everyone is fine. So no one relies on anyone for anything. But it doesn't mean that you can't still do nice things for your family. Give them money, buy them gifts if that's what you want to do. But I know there are a lot of people that have that burden on them and guys i feel you i understand because sometimes you still have to come out of pocket to support family stuff and all and it's not easy so more grease to your elbows but the bills are not smiling so the next thing and i know a lot of people have experienced this one but it's the struggle of renting an apartment in a city like lagos when you are a single woman so currently i'm house hunting and I have found three prospective places that I want. And um, every time they ask me to submit this, submit that, eventually they come back and go, oh, um, somebody else has gotten the apartment. And then you ask the profile of the person and the person is either a guy or the person is someone who is married with kids. And I'm like, what is the problem? Is it that you feel like every young lady is irresponsible or can't pay her bills or they are troublesome because it doesn't make sense i know a lot of people even have to go as far as lying that they are engaged or they are married or they get a friend to stand in for them so that they can get an apartment and i'm like no i'm not going to do that why do i have to do that i'm young i'm responsible i'm sensible i have good manners i'm not problematic so why should i have to get a guy to front that he's my husband or try and get the apartment for me so that I can find one or close on one that I like. So after I move into the house, if the maybe facility manager or something comes around and they ask for the guy, I'll now be lying that, oh, the person is not around. Eh, my fiance is out of the country. You know, those kind of, like, why, why? Is it not my money? Am I not trying to pay for some way? Like, is it a crime to be single and you want to rent an apartment? I know that there are a lot of young ladies out there because i'm going to tow both sides so it doesn't look like i'm just trying to defend the situation at all but i know that there are a lot of young ladies who are very problematic they move into a house they don't want to pay service charge they don't want to pay like when it comes to when it's time to pay like renew their rent they are coming up with stories oh but i don't have money now give me some time to pay they are in the compound they are quarrelsome they just keep picking a fight nothing is ever good enough for them i know that there are situations like that but when you meet somebody you should be able to have a conversation with them and audit the person's character and say okay this seems like a responsible person this seems like a sensible person obviously they're going to get you to sign um what's that thing a letter there's there's this letter that they ask you to sign they ask you to bring a guarantor they ask your guarantor to sign on your behalf and all that yeah but the annoying thing now is you meet the facility manager they ask you to fill this form fill that form they ask you for your id your driver's license your work id and all that and then they come back and say oh sorry somebody got that somebody got the house um that is not you we apologize and all that and you're wondering all this information personal information that you asked me to um, put up to give you what are you going to do with it because tomorrow i don't want to hear that somebody signed collected a loan and used me as a shorty or something and they will now come and start disturbing me because this is lagos and you can't trust people people are funny so i've been so pissed about it this is probably the last video i'll make in my current house because i have to be out of here in a week and i haven't found a place so i'm just going to have to pack up my stuff and put it in storage while i keep aggressively looking for a place because of the singular fact that i mean they're not going to tell you but then they will obviously give someone preference over you who is single and the three places that i found and i really liked it was always given to a guy who is married or like a married couple and all that yes i understand people want stability but not everyone who is single is problematic so that is super frustrating i know a lot of people are experiencing that i even read something online that landlords are now asking for a one-year bank statement before they can rent house to ladies this is crazy i know there are people who don't pay their bills yes there are people who don't pay their bills but not everybody has that problem and if you have somebody are you and if you are somebody with high emotional intelligence you should be able to see that now nah, this person seems like they'll be a problematic person and people lie people pretend you can act like you have a good personality and you're calm and cool and then you come into into the house and you start acting up 
that's how why you give people the benefit of the doubt and if anything happens you can always say okay we will need to terminate your tenancy agreement here is your balance and you part ways amicably it's not fight it's not fight but when you're not even giving the person a chance at all so i should sleep on the streets because i'm single and i don't have a husband to <laughs> to to come and like front for me or something like it doesn't make sense and on the whole house thing now we're going to go to the issue of service charge so you find a place the rent is say like a standard two bedroom house the rent is maybe three million and then the service charge is like 1.8 million naira and you're wondering okay no problem it's your house so you can charge anything you want to charge but please this 1.8 million naira that you're asking me to bring now you need to give me a breakdown of what I'm going to be spending my money on so that I can see the value. Like, what value am I getting from it? Then they'll start telling you things like cleaning of common area. And you are looking, you are in the compound, you are looking around like common. Say it's a house that has like four tenants. They'll tell you cleaning of common area, and you're like, which common area? What is this common area that is using one million naira plus to clean? What are you cleaning? Loma, cleaning of tank, payment of um, security dues and all that. And I'm like, that is even exclusive of, say, it's a service apartment and you're contributing money for fuel. And then you're also paying for your life yourself. You're like, I should pay 1.8 million naira for service charge. That's like rent in a whole other area in Lagos. Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And then they now expect people who are working for their money to be able to spend out to be able to to um spend say a total of say rent is three million service charge is 1.8 1.4 million um, 4.8 million naira on just rent alone in this economy it doesn't make sense and then you're saying oh you want people who are responsible you want people like how many young people have that kind of money i mean you might be able to pay for it or you have other means to pay for it but people who are working for their money don't just want to throw their money away spending it on frivolous things like cleaning of common area you want me to give you 1.8 million naira and let me tell you even in that one year even if you pay for a whole year in four or five months time they're going to come back and say oh the cost of diesel has gone up oh and um we'll have to review this charge so we'll need more money or generator has gone bad and we'll need to fix it you'll be like but i've already paid my service charge shouldn't that include all that and they'll tell you no it doesn't so what do you do at that point in time like it doesn't make sense it just feels like they are out to torture people and just extort as much money as they can from people just because they can and they know people want to live in prime areas places with good proximity to like central areas where i mean it's more comfortable to live and also most people areas where people would choose because the proximity to where they work and where they basically do general activities is close by so anyway so um i had to go off camera to quickly speed up my makeup because i was coming to the end of the video and i realized i was still so far behind in my makeup yeah so i did a uh, kind of like a brown eye with the white liner and some sparkle in the center i really like how it came out trust me i did something totally different from what i had planned in my head but yeah so as much as um for the last point for the cons as much as i said um that i like staying alone and um like you could just be on your own you have your own house you can just chill do whatever you want on the flip side of that that's like a if you're like me who's an introverted extrovert and as much as you like your quiet time you also feel lonely at times at times you feel really lonely and you just wish like you would have some company with you like there was someone in your house sometimes i would go out without talking without picking phone calls without um chatting or whatsapping people and then sometimes i would be like i wish one of my friends would come over i'll be calling my friend like let's go out let's do something and um yeah you realize that you are alone or lonely most times well not lonely i wouldn't say lonely but you're alone and um if you don't have a strong support system 
it can be really hard especially when you're living alone like so when you feel sad um you can get sucked into that energy if you're not someone who knows how to cheer themselves up if you're not someone who knows how to gas themselves up if you don't know how to fix your own energy so to say so um i'm that kind of person that's why living alone works for me because when i'm sad i really just like to go into my own space like i said i know how to make myself feel better but sometimes it gets really lonely and you just want company you're thinking um okay this was fun in the beginning but how long this is going to last but then you realize i'm eg and um it only lasts for 15 minutes you realize how having company might be really annoying and then you snap out of it and yeah so like it's not like a really big con but sometimes it hits you that i'm alone and it feels lonely and i wish i had company so yeah that is the last point i know that um i missed out on some things but i can always do another video on anything i missed out on i know there's so many more experiences that i didn't really cover maybe i should do a full length video talking about um my 20s and um, lessons i learned from my 20s or something i don't know if you guys would want to watch that i think it would be an interesting thing because child i went through some things like nothing crazy nothing that anyone in that age group wasn't going through anyway but i think it will be fun to share so this is the final look guys i hope you enjoyed this little chit chat and um i hope you like the makeup as well i really just freestyled and i really like how it came out yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll be making more videos like this so stay tuned and take care bye